4.5 billion years ago, Earth had no moon. The early solar system was wild, planets were forming, and collisions were quite common. One of those worlds was named Thea. Kinda sounds like Thea, I'm learning my Spanish. It was a protoplanet about the size of Mars, moving in a similar orbit to early Earth. Thea struck Earth at a glancing impact at around 9 to 14 kilometers per second. The cores merged into Earth, while molten rock from Earth's crust and mantle was ejected into orbit. That ejecta formed a temporary silicate vapor and magma disk around Earth stretching way beyond the Roche limit. From that disk, molten droplets and rock fragments fused through accretion. Simulations show that most of the moon's mass assembled in months, likely under a year. You're trying to tell me that the moon assembled faster than I have replied to some emails. Okay. The newborn moon actually orbited just 3 to 5 Earth radii away, which is about 10 to 20 times closer than today. Earth's tides eventually pushed it outward, which in return stabilized our axial tilt, slowed our rotation, and it helped create long-term habitable climates. So I think we owe the moon a little thank you. Thank you, moon. We love our habitable climate. <laughs>